Hi, I'm Carla Precht and I'm the Executive Director of the Bronx Children's Museum. Our main mission is to inspire children and families to learn about themselves, their community, their environment, and the world. We are reaching out to the community and making contact with all parts of the Bronx to let people know that we are here, we want to enrich your lives, and one of the ways in which we are doing this is uh, Dream Big. It's actually a six-week workshop of music and art enrichment where we have people who are leaders of our community, of our country, inspire the children. is a great initiative that I hope to see for many years here. I think it's an opportunity to have what kids like me in the Bronx didn't have growing up. I think it's always such an amazing experience to see students, particularly students who have never been on stage before, have never acted, or have never had an opportunity to be on stage and say, hey, this is who I am. And even if they've had the experience of being on stage, They've never told their story that they've created, used their words. I was so proud of them when I saw them on stage. And it's, it's very inspiring to something that I, I think the Bronx needs very, very badly. Everybody ready? Say yeah. Yeah. One, two, three, one, two. One, two, three, one, two. You have to stay steady. The Bronx Children's Museum chose Bobby Sanaria because he is a native of the South Bronx. This is the project where I grew up, 681, in apartments in 12A. It was so wonderful to see these beautiful children get the right steps and a little bit of improvisation to the rhythm. And then when he got on his percussion just went at it. Wow. The concert was absolutely beautiful. I couldn't stop moving in my chair. They just got it and their bodies moved and they loved it and they were smiling and they were shaking and they were actually acting out part of their own Bronx history. A lot of what we're trying to do in the museum is to nurture stewardship. The bus that has our very first interactive exhibit called River on the Go, Where is Justin the Beaver? 
has been now um, roaming around the Bronx for about a year and a half. We've been pretty much everywhere. We have our program director go out, spend time with the teachers, explain to them what the um, exhibit is about. When they get on the bus, that's the time for them to sort of take it in. Hi, we're from the Bronx Children's Museum. And we'd like to welcome you to Rivers on the Go. We have authentic sounds from the Bronx River. We have a number of different types of resources that they can then go back into their classroom and do with the children. We have a whole assessment that we do with the teachers to try to find out, you know, what it is that, that they actually learned from the experience. It looks like a cave, right, but it's a lodge. The Beaver House is called a lodge, and she made a wonderful picture. The Bronx Children's Museum is open to everyone to give for different forums for expression of creativity to our children to let them know you have so much unbelievable intellectual creative potential. These are just some of the few ways in which we are here to help you and your family try to achieve them. The idea is that we want to give children this feeling that anything's possible and that they are part of the solution. And that's what this is all about. We're trying to engage children in learning and taking in what's around them so they become natural discoverers. We're at a very exciting point when um, we can say that we have begun our development stage. Kids Powerhouse Discovery Center is just that. We want children to come here to learn about power, their power, and the power of the universe in a way that when they walk out the door, that they understand that not only do they have the power, but they are empowered to actually change the world. We're right on track, and we hope to see you in 2015. This is the Bronx. Here are the children right here. Let's start with them right now, nurturing those minds.